Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. It's our pleasure to be here and uh, present our company, Rode and Schwarz, but also a solution uh, that we developed within the framework of the standardization of the T-sector in ITU. So that is why we have a very close relation to this WTSA and whatever is happening here in this event. Let me quickly start with a small overview. Um, we are still a privately owned company, but we act globally. It was We were founded 85 years ago by two guys, no surprise, from Rode and Schwarz, so still the name that we have in the company. Uh, we are fully owned by the families still. We are independent in the financial and capital market. And we have a tradition that we uh, work and act on long-term sustainability and a trusted-based uh, customer relationship. Um, since it's, its founding, we have or understood ourselves as an enabler and innovator for a safer and a connected world. So this is an overview of the business fields that we basically have. So our large portion is test and measurement. Then we have technology systems. That is all where you need a couple of equipment bound together in a complete solution. And our latest part is network security. Not only our products we are proud of, we are also proud of our experts, our employees. So from a size, we have worldwide 12,300 employees. We have employees from 87 countries of the world and we are active with a direct uh, representative uh, representation in 70 countries. We do a lot to uh, train our staff with more than 400 training courses internally to keep, ev keep everybody up to date. And of course, this is uh, an asset we have. Our engineers are very important to have successful uh, products. And I'm happy to uh, introduce uh, Jens Berger, Dr. Jens Berger, who is uh, the head of our development for the quality of service and quality of experience. Uh, which is standardized inside ITUT, and uh, I would like to give the floor to Jens to introduce us to this interesting topic. Thank you. Uh, welcome, everybody. Have a nice afternoon, and I hope it is it's not becoming too technical. Uh, I will try to give you a brief overview about our parts here on ITUT, especially QE, QS. We are very active in ITUT, Study Group 12, 11, former Study Group 9, Study Group 12, where I'm more or less there for almost 30 years now. And if I would like to talk about those things in ID Study Group 12, I would focus on mobile network testing. It means mobile networks like cell phones or also wireless LAN, Wi Fi. Of course, we are also active in IQR and Etsy, 3GP, WeQuack, whatever you can imagine belongs to these topics. I'm for myself, I have for almost 20 years now a rapporteurship in Study Group 12. It's a bit, let's say, maybe unknown to most of you. Perceptual based optative uh, audio and visual quality measurements. It means how to measure how a human subject would perceive voice, audio. Does it sound well? Does it sound degraded? Do you see distortions on the screen from a video? All those things. We are also in touch with evaluation guidelines, network performance measurements. It means how performant is a, is a network from the view of an end user of a customer. We said a lot of active contributions, IPR standards. Maybe you know that Polka is the standard for speech quality or other ones for video quality measurements. This is all study group 12. You may ask you why we as Walter Schwartz are here in ITUT doing standards. I think international standards are essential for interoperability in and between telecommunication networks and services, and they guarantee valid and true measurement results all over the world. They apply to industry, telecommunication, network operators. We have customers like authorities, regulation authorities in individual countries. For us, it's a clear focus of implementing approved and standardized measurement methods the same as sharing our experience to others and 
drive standardization actively forward. If you have a look to a network life cycle from spectrum clearance, from network engineering, from deployment, monitoring, benchmarking, we are serving all the individual aspects of this life cycle. We have a solution platform which is putting probes in the network, do data collection, and can do data analytics at the upper layer as well. And we do it through all of the individual layers, down from plain physical spectrum, as you may be there, to radio transport, transport layers like IP or TCP, UDP, up to quality of service and quality of experience. Let's maybe, I hope it's not becoming too technical, 5G, everyone talks about 5G. What is 5G? 5G is not a revolution, it's maybe an evolution from 4G. It is coming on stepwise, it is a transition. What you will have is new spectrum, you have maybe heard about millimeter waves, very high frequencies, to uh, especially to uh, have coverage in indoor equipment, in, in indoor uh, sites or in uh, very narrow environments. You have massive MIMO and beam forming, means the network is able to direct the energy to you, to your mobile. If you have multi-connectivity, you can combine 5G and 4G and make use of all frequencies you have, the same as you have a virtualization of the network, it means you have a flexible physical layer, you can serve individual customers with individual QS parameters. This is all great, but spectrum in the radio is just the first step. How is the technical performance in real field? This is very important. You can have the best spectrum ever if you cannot make use of it by high bit rate, by short latencies, by reliability. Or how is the experience performance by a user? How is voice of a new radio? How does it sound? How is the video jet going? How is the online game going? How works virtual reality? And for this, we have a test solution. But is it a completely new game? If you have a look to today, today networks are made for downloading data in masses. No one cares about latency or short transportation time. Focus is on data download. If you imagine you browse, you download emails, you do whatever TikTok, you just need a data pipe which is powerful enough. For 5G, it is changing. We have interactive in real time applications like virtual reality, augmented reality. We have new players, automotive, industry 440. We have non smartphone devices in the network like modems, like your fridge talking to the internet or whatever. We have open run. It means you can combine components from different vendors together. And focus is data rate and extreme short transport latencies. If you have a long latency, you cannot do a video chat, you cannot do virtual reality, nothing. You will always see a lag, a latency in between what you're doing and the response from the network. And to make it simple, 5G is bitrate, continuity, and latency. The demands are different, but you have to take care about all three, not about uh, bitrate only. And for this, we have just a small selection there. You see all the individual measurement device groups here we are uh, we're having for supporting this. Spectrum clearance, interference hunting, troubleshooting, site acceptance new radio network measurement solutions. You see here a smartphone-based solution where we have all the measurement algorithms running on the smartphone itself. And for data analysis, a platform where you can even see where you have measured, where you have been driven around or walked around with your measurement device, and you can do all the performance measurements in a very efficient way. Okay, thank you. And Enjoy the rest of the afternoon. Thank you.